If you notice that your skin just looks dull, if you don't look as radiant as you maybe once did, or if you don't have that luminescence to your skin, a lot of times what is going on is that we have hyperpigmentation and irregularity in the skin. We have a little bit too much mottled browns, even just kind of if they're faint, and basically they detract from the glow. They detract from the clarity of the skin, and there are specific things that you can do to help to clear that up, to help give you a more radiant complexion. We all understand that we need to protect our skin from the sun or else none of this other stuff we're going to talk about <laughs> even matters, okay? Beyond that, the number one thing that you need to be doing that if you are not doing, you won't see the results that you want to, is you need to be using pigment inhibitors. When we are producing new healthy cells in our, you know, the very base of our skin and they march forward, and this is a process that happens our entire life. As long as we are alive, we are generating new skin cells that march to the surface, takes them four to six to seven weeks, depending on how old we are and how slow that turnover is going on. And if those cells are marching to the surface with too much pigment in them, then we are going to see brown spots. We're going to see irregular skin skin tone, that kind of thing. So what a pigment inhibitor does is it basically starts at the very beginning of that march and it gatekeeps. It doesn't allow the cells to have that excess pigment. This is so crucial and when I talk to people about hyperpigmentation or even dullness in the skin, if they feel like their complexion just lacks the life that it once had, a lot of times it is about hyperpigmentation and even the slightest irregularity in our skin can cause our complexion to look dull. If you're not using dedicated pigment inhibitors, then the cells that are marching to the surface are still coming with that excess pigment. When we talk about pigment inhibitors, these are the ingredients that we're talking about. We are talking about L-ascorbic acid, that's vitamin C. That is a great pigment inhibitor. It is an antioxidant, it is anti-inflammatory, it's gonna help to, in the moment, protect us from future damage, but it is also helping us to inhibit that pigment at the base so that the cells that are about to march forward to reveal themselves in several weeks won't have too much pigment in them. So vitamin C, big, it's a big one. It's really, really great for our skin. It also helps to promote collagen production. It can help to protect the collagen that we already have. Okay, other ingredients that you wanna look for. Tranexamic acid. You've heard me talk about that before. That's also a pigment inhibitor. Niacinamide. Niacinamide is a pigment inhibitor. And niacinamide is also a pigment inhibitor in a different way. So it's really a great ingredient to see. I know we see it in so many products, but it's actually a really, really great ingredient for brightening the skin. Kojic acid. Kojic acid is also another brightening ingredient. 4-butyl-resorcinol, another brightening ingredient, pigment-inhibiting ingredient. Alpha-arbutin, or just arbutin, however it's listed on an ingredient deck, same thing same thing. It is very, very good at inhibiting pigment and helping those cells to come forward without that excess pigment so that they look clear and you have just a brighter overall complexion. So those are just some of the pigment inhibiting ingredients that you can be looking for in your skincare products. Azelaic acid is another pigment inhibitor, but it's also incredibly anti-inflammatory and inflammation can contribute to the hyperpigmentation. So it shouldn't ever be underestimated that we want to kind of inhibit inflammation as much as possible. And that will just generally help with the inflammation in our skin, of course, which ultimately helps with the pigmentation of our skin being more regular. So you've got these cells that are marching to the surface and hopefully they are mostly free of excess pigment. Well, what do you do with the cells that are on the surface that are already showing you that pigment. That is when you use your alpha hydroxy acids, your beta hydroxy acids, your polyhydroxy acids. The entire point of those things is to kind of dislodge the skin cells that you can actually see so that they can slough off so that eventually you can reveal those cells that are marching to the surface that are free of excess pigment, that are clear. That's why this process takes a little while because you gotta clear off the damage 
and you've got to encourage healthy cells to come from the base that are free of that excess. That's a process that's gonna take a little bit of time. You always have to be super patient when you're trying to clear up your complexion. No matter what you're trying to do, it takes a little bit of time because there's a timeline of skin turnover. Vitamin A, retinol, retinaldehyde, tretinoin, that is going to encourage that cellular turnover to be expedited. So especially as you're getting older, we slow down. The cellular turnover slows down. So if you wanna see the results of the pigment inhibiting and the exfoliation, you want to speed up that cellular turnover that has slowed down because we've gotten older. That is what a tretinoin or a retinol or retinaldehyde is gonna do for you. It's going to help to encourage those cells to move a little bit, to get going, get move into the surface a little bit faster but it is also a pigment inhibitor in its own right. So while it's doing that, it's also kind of gatekeeping that excess pigment as well. So here are the products that I'm using right now that are amazing. And number one, it is the Intensive Night Serum from Dermalore. This is the best non-prescription pigment inhibitor that I've ever used. This has in it the vitamin C, it has L-ascorbic acid, it has tranexamic acid, it has kojic acid, it also has glutathione, it has uh, alpha arbutin in here, it has 4-butyl resorcinol, it has a serious cocktail of pigment inhibiting ingredients in a serum form that you just use at night. It also has a few alpha hydroxy acids that I find to not be super, um, they're not irritating or anything like that. This also has MSM in it. Now MSM is going to be anti-inflammatory, but it's also gonna help our body to produce its own glutathione, which is an amazing antioxidant that also happens to be a pigment inhibitor. So I've honestly never seen a product that was quite this robust that is at this kind of a price point. This is under $50, right around there. It definitely lasts around three, three and a half months, depending on how often you use it. I tend to use this every single night when I do use this, and I don't get any irritation. I use this along with my Dermalex Sleep Serum when I use that. I also use this before I use any kind of a retinoid, have no problem with that. So it's one of those things where you have to assess your own tolerance. If you decide you wanna try this, you want to you know, just watch for irritation and back off if you ever find that you are irritated from any kind of combination of ingredients. It just doesn't irritate my skin at all. Okay, so that is an amazing pigment inhibitor. Now, it's really, really important that you use pigment inhibitors both morning and night. This one, I don't like to use in the morning. I don't love the consistency for morning use along with if I wanna wear makeup, you know, that kind of thing. So this is my pigment inhibitor at night only. For me, in the morning, what I am using for my pigment inhibitor is I'm using the uh, Naturium Azelaic Acid. I went through the entire serum version of their Azelaic Acid. That one is a derivative, I love it. I absolutely loved that, but I also had this, so I am going to finish this before I rebuy probably the derivative. I really, really liked the serum, but they're both fantastic. As like acid plays well with everything, it's calming, it is a pigment inhibitor, it works on redness, and it works on brown. So as like acid for the win, for sure. Using that in the morning, and I am using the Dermatology Vitamin C, E, and Ferulic. This one is kind of um, a surprise for me. I bought this over the summer when I did a big um, replenish of my Dermatology products, and I decided to go ahead and give this a try. And I hadn't used it for a really, really long time, and when I used it before, I used to compare this to the SkinCeuticals C, E, Ferulic, and what I realized now, which is crazy, is that this is so so far better than the CE Ferulic from uh, SkinCeuticals. It's, there's not even a comparison, and it's less than half the price. This has the vitamin C, it has the vitamin E, and it has the, the Ferulic Acid. All three of those are a cocktail of antioxidants that help to stabilize each other, but they also work as antioxidants in your skin. And again, that vitamin C is of course a pigment inhibitor, it's a brightener, and it helps with the overall glow. Vitamin C does so many great things for the skin. It also helps to boost the protection of your SPF because it is an antioxidant. So it's really great in conjunction with your SPF 
to fight off future damage so that you're protecting yourself from the, the next round of damage later that you'll have to see from what you're doing today. Vitamin C is great for that. This also has in it ceramides. It has in it sphetosphingosine. We've talked about that before. That helps with your barrier. This also has peptides in it. What I am finding with this one is I'm able to use it all the time and I'm not getting irritated. And I'm sure it's because of those barrier supportive ingredients that are kind of supporting the vitamin C, E, and the ferulic. So I'm not getting any irritation. I love this so much. This is definitely for me right now, the go-to vitamin C for me in the AM. And honestly, after really investigating the ingredients in it, I don't really see any reason to switch it up. This is just, it just has too many good things in it along with the pigment inhibiting properties of vitamin C. Okay, so that's my morning uh, pigment inhibitors. Obviously, I have a whole skincare routine that I do all kinds of stuff, but when I am focused on my pigment and I'm focused on clearing my pigment, I know that I have to have those pigment inhibitors on board morning and night. I need to be working on those cells at the very beginning of their march forward if I want to ever see a clear complexion. Now, the other thing that I am using at night still, and I've used this for a really long time now, is the Dermalex Sleep Serum. This has vitamin C in it too. And I, on the two nights a week that I use this, when I do not use a retinoid, I'm still using, I use these together and there's no irritation whatsoever. You can use them either way you want. It doesn't matter which order you use them. So if you're using this Dermalex Sleep Serum, just a couple nights a week, two to three at the most, if you want to avoid irritation, that is my experience, but I can use it with this absolutely no problem. They are both serums, and like I said, you can use them, you can use one first or the other one first, it doesn't really matter as far as I'm concerned. This is alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, and more vitamin C. I'm telling you I'm loading up on vitamin C and for the first time in my life, it's not bothering my skin, it's only brightening my skin. And that is a combination <laughs> that I can get behind for sure. So anyway, I hope that what you're taking from this is that if you have hyperpigmentation, you have to have pigment inhibitors on board. So even if you don't wanna try any of these products, make sure that you're looking for products that have vitamin C. Make sure you're looking for products that have maybe arbutin, tranexamic acid, kojic acid, licorice, four butyl resorcinol, glutathione. Those are all ingredients that are going to help to hold that pigment down so that healthy cells can come to the surface. They're doing all kinds of other stuff too, the antioxidant, the anti-inflammatory properties, all that stuff, but for the purposes of pigment inhibiting, they are superstars. All right, you guys, I will try and answer any questions in the comment section. If you have questions about routine, if you have products that you've tried that have some of these ingredients, if you want to run a product by me, I'll do my best to answer for you because of course there's lots and lots of great products on the market. You may have them already in your cupboard. You just need to start using them consistently morning and night to see results. And finally, consistency is everything. I mean, that gets said a lot, but with hyperpigmentation, it is beyond important. I mean, it is super duper important because imagine that there's no doorman at the base there and some cells get by because nobody's there inhibiting pigment. You're never going to clear it on the surface if you don't have a constant gate at the base holding back the excess pigment. So in all of the different versions of skin issues that we have, I would say hyperpigmentation is one of them that requires the most consistency and will not you will not see results unless you're super diligent and consistent with your morning and your night routine. It, you have to have those pigment inhibitors on board. You gotta wear the SPF, that's crucial. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer, and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.